Hola chicas, my name is Vanessa Lau and welcome to Beauty by Vanessa Lau where I am going to teach you all the tips and tricks that I use to accomplish my makeup looks. Today I am going to be showing you this everyday um, glam look and um, show you step by step how I do it from face uh, to eyeshadow to eyeliner and my last finishing touches for the look. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I actually haven't even done my foundation yet. I do normally start my makeup looks with the eyes. And the first thing I'm going to use is a paint pot by MAC in the color Painterly. It looks like this. And it's basically, it's a primer with color in it. So it's almost acting uh, like a concealer that, you know, you see people, uh, people using concealer nowadays. Uh, to whiten the color of their eyelids a little more so that the, the eyeshadow colors they use can pop out. And this is going to act as that as well. So I love it and they have it in different colors. Um, and this is probably the, the lightest one they have. But it works awesome. So I'm just going to put that all over my lid, to the inner corners, underneath my eyebrow, out here even, like I like to sometimes bring my eyeshadow out here, so I'm just gonna get it out there too, just like that. Okay, and then uh, for this more subtle everyday look, um, I'm going to use this Natasha Denona palette in the color uh, Sahara. So that's gonna be this color right here. So it's kind of like a, like a camel color. And I'm going to put that um, kind of on my crease, but it, to just open my eyes a little bit more, I'm actually gonna put it up to my brow bone and not quite all the way at, up here, but I'm gonna stop like around this area so that way my eyes can um, open up even more and I, I have even more space to play with my eyeshadow colors. And I like to concentrate more of the color on the outside just because I think on a lot of eyelids we're trying to open our eyes more than if that. We're trying to open them up more than close them. So I think in general this is just a good idea for a lot of people. Um, but I do bring it in here as well. And so it's kind of in the crease area. And as you can see I'm putting it up in my, like halfway up my brow bone. I like to put my finger to my face because I feel like I stabilize it a little bit more um, sometimes, but I can just leave it hands free like that too, but okay. Just kind of evening it, evening it out on both sides. like that okay so now that we've done that I'm actually going to oh by the way if you wanted to know the brush I used it's the M Morphe M433 brush M433 brush um I love that brush I've been using it pretty much in every one of my makeup looks and the other brush I'm going to use is the Morphe M573 brush and it looks like this it's kind of more of a dome let me see this. There you go. <laughs> there you can see it. It's like a like a dome ish kind of color, kind of um, I'm sorry, brush. It kind of uh, points right here. So I'm going to use that for my crease. And for that, I'm actually going to use this matte color uh, called Saddle. This is it right here. As you can see, I love it because it's going down. And I'm going to place it right here my crease again I like to start on the outer part just to intensify the color on the outside and then bring it in 
and you will really, really need to make sure to blend. I think just taking your time with it and having a light hand, but um, not so light to where you're not getting the color in there either. And I like to do these like wish washing, what is it, wind wiper motions, but I also like to sometimes circle it like that. So again, we're just slowly building up the color to the intensity that you want, um, and this is the intensity that I want, so. And this is, see how really pretty this transitions? Um, it's like darker and then it transitions nicely, almost unnoticeably to the, the lighter color I put on earlier. So that is one of the key points in uh, giving dimension to your eyeshadow looks. You might think a girl's only wearing two colors and she's wearing like four actually, <laughs> or more. Um, not that you can't do awesome looks with two eyeshadows, because I definitely have, but um, one of the, the secrets. Okay, uh, now that I've done that, I'm going to take my Morphe M506 brush, looks like this. And I'm going to dip it in the color, again taking the Natasha Denona palette, in the color Coco. And I'm going to put it right here on the outer edge, like towards my lash line, and then I'm going to bring it up. Just like that. on the other side. I'm just hitting this outer corner area like the the top lash line, outer corner and then outer corner of the eyelid. And I like to go like this. See I go like that right here too. You just kind of keep going until you feel like it's pretty even in color and intensity. I'm telling you guys, makeup is not actually perfect. Like, we are humans, we make mistakes. It's just more about tricking the human eye into thinking that things are more perfect than they actually are. Okay, so um, after that, I'm going to take this MAC uh, pigment, and the color is actually called Naked. And this pigment is so, so pretty. It's like this really nice vanilla color. And I'm actually just going to lay it out um, on here like that. <laughs> As you can see, this is the same color that I've, it's that color, like just kind of dried up. Um, I honestly probably poured a little too much than I should have. But then I'm going to take my Morphe M512 uh, brush. I need to say these, or 152 brush. I need to say these numbers better. Sorry, y'all. Um, but then, this is where it's a little more optional. Um, if this color, the reason why I like this color is because I like shiny and more glittery, even on my daily, everyday looks. Um, if you want something a little bit more subtle, you can just use the pigment as is, or there's a great um, substitute color that I love to use called Rice Paper from MAC. Love, love, love that color. It's also a vanilla-y uh, color that looks really flattering on a lot of skin tones. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually take this MAC Fix Plus uh, Prep and Prime spray and this is going to intensify the color of this pigment and make it even shinier and glossier. Um, so this is, if you like the looks that I do, this is what I'm doing to achieve them. Like I said, if you want it to be a little bit more subtle, you don't have to do this. Um, you can try it first, and then if you're like, you know what, I do want the intensity, you can go back in and, and just layer the, the color again with the Fix Plus. So I just wet my brush with that spray, and I'm going to dip it into the pigment. I think y'all know what just dipping a brush into eyeshadow looks like. And I'm just going to 
start kind of in the middle, kind of towards the inner corner, and work my way into this like, little crease area. I'm going to stop there and bring it out here and see how, where it goes from there, what I want from there. And I've used a lot, so I'm gonna just get some of this on the other eye too. See how intense this is. I just go a little bit out of time, you know? I don't need a rush. And you know what? I know I put that darker color here already. That's okay. I'm going to bring it out a little bit further because I changed my mind. I'm going to make this a little round, round it out, just like that. not even like perfect right like right here on the edge but that's okay because we're just gonna go back in with that brush I used for the outer corner dip it in the darker cocoa color again and then I'm gonna work my way again right here and just kind of blend it out If you feel like this is already like a little too intense for you, um, you can honestly skip this darker color and just go in with saddle all the way around and it will be lighter. Okay. So there we have that. Yay. <laughs> then um, this is the trick that I do that many people do not know or do not do and that is getting makeup remover on a cotton ball and sometimes I mean today's look it's pretty even but sometimes eyeshadow gets everywhere and you're like oh no like it's too far down here or blah 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 or um, you have a lot of fallout and there's color now down here so I this is why I don't do my foundation first normally um, and then I just take a cotton ball with some makeup remover and I just wipe it underneath. And clear that off. And I know, that's why I haven't done my uh, bottom eyeshadow yet. So, We're going to come back actually to the rest of the eyes under this part after I do my foundation. Okay, so I already finished my foundation and pretty much the rest of my face. And now I'm going to go back and finish this eye look. Now the reason why I do this is why I put my foundation on um, first and then finish the bottom is because like I said, um, you know, sometimes you have fallout, sometimes you need to fix this, these uh, outer parts. Maybe, you, you know, some eyeshadow fell. So it just kind of helps your, fix your mistakes without having to worry about messing up your foundation. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually go in with saddle again. And I'm using the Morphe E29 brush. Looks like this. And I'm going to put that all under eye 
and just kind of gently kind of pat it and sweep pat and sweep pat and sweep pat and sweep kind of bring it there and then I'm going to go back in with that color cocoa from the, Dinoche, the Natasha Denona palette. It looks like that. And since that's the color we use to intensify the outer corners, I'm going to go in again with it on just the outer part of the lower lash line. So I just want it to connect and be the same. Be the same. And sometimes I kind of like see so bringing it up and almost like making it even, giving it even more of that angle that I like. Because I love cat eye, like a cat eye vibe. That's just my thing. And maybe, I don't know, I'm kind of in the mood to go back in a little bit with the cocoa. Just to blend out that line. I, bar I literally barely put any color on the brush. Mostly just going in and blending things together. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with this little, little brush that I like. And it's the M213 brush. Boom, looks like this. Can you see him? Can you see this little guy? He's so small. And I'm going to, again, wet my brush with the Fix um, Plus by MAC to intensify the pigment that I used for my lid. And I'm just going to dip it in there. And I'm going to put it right here, the inner corners, because I think this opens up my eyes a little bit more. It makes it like just shinier and you know if you've seen any of my makeup looks before this like this is the vibe I like and also I think these colors are so neutral that they're so pretty for um, honestly I would wear this work, work uh, I would wear this look to work um, I think you could do it, use it for that, and then I think you could use it to go out. I think you could use it for weddings. I think you could just literally use it for any occasion that you want. It's just totally up to you and your style and what you like. Okay, um, so I just did my mascara, and I actually am going to go in with uh, that naked pigment that we used on the lid and also put it up here. Sorry, I had already started putting some, but just goes underneath my eyebrows. Alright, so that was the eyeshadow look. And the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how I do my wing eyeliner.